Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I just want to say I hope you, everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, and I want to say that I'm very thankful for everybody that's been watching my videos. Um, and it, it just it keeps me motivated. It keeps me going. Um, it helps me uh, want to continue working and continue uh, restoring uh, the car and not just let it sit. So... Uh, just thank you for thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching. Um, so in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear apart the interior. I already started a little bit. Um, we're gonna tear it apart, uh, see how bad the rust is uh, underneath the carpets and everything, um, and just continue tearing stuff apart and making a plan on how to put it all back together. All right, so here it is. Took a few things apart, took out the seats, back seats. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of rust. I don't look like there's too much rust in the back, but up here, uh, there's a decent amount of surface rust, but I don't, I don't haven't seen any holes yet, so I don't think that should be too big of a problem. And I found uh, some red carpet underneath the black carpet that was here. Uh, so this interior has been redone at least once so far. So yeah, we just gotta continue pulling everything out, scrape off all of this uh, the sound um, deadening tape. I'll be replacing all of that. I'm gonna repaint the interior. Uh, we have to pull out all the you know the rest of the trim and all the little pieces. Take out that seat, which is gonna be fun because the bolts are rusty underneath uh, try to pull out the dash basically get everything stripped and start coming up with a decent plan uh, what we're going to do as far as repainting it um, I haven't decided yet if we're going to sand west the interior or not if it's just that I might um, wire brush that clean it up and Put some rust uh, destroyer paint on it and then spray the inside um, if the other side is any worse than this and we have holes well then we'll go from there but oh yeah so here we go
All right, so got all the seats out and the carpets out. Scraped most of the old um, sound attenuation sound attenuation off. Um, so that's that's the rust right there. Looks like it's possibly just surface rust. I don't see any any holes or anything that looks like it's going to be even close to holes. Um, but I guess we'll see once we start sandblasting. Uh, so yeah, there's that. There's that side. So I got a little bit more uh, insulation or stuff down there. Um, and then here's something kind of interesting. So whoever it was that owned this car before me wanted the seat to go lower, uh, which is I guess a common problem with these. For taller people, there's not enough room. Uh, so yeah, the uh, they, they dropped this back end a little bit. Um, they got rid of the little... Uh, well, you can see how it is right here. A little frame piece that the seat would go. They got rid of that and dropped it down. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. Um, don't know. We'll see. I might just either keep it or try to reinforce it a little bit. Um, I sat in the seat when I got the car and it was it was pretty comfy for from my size so I might keep the positioning where it's at I just might reinforce it a little bit better and weld it um before I seal everything uh so yeah and yeah just everything in the back took all of that apart not too bad on the rust back there and now I gotta take out the dash so this will be a fun one uh, I try to figure out how it comes out. So yeah, here we go. You kept pushing on, but then you went too far. When your ship has sailed and all your dreams are lost, everything is wrong. You feel like it's your fault. Just remember, I will be there for you, baby. Remember, there's nothing out there to get you. Don't forget it. So what are you doing, Nathan? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, how do we take that off? Um, I'm, I'm getting through on these boots because I'm done. I'm, I'm done putting this button. Okay, show us. Uh, wait. Put, put, it, put it over there. There you go. That's it, that's it, that's it. It's a little heavy, huh? Yeah. Okay, go. That's it, that's it. Alright, and now we'll take the bouncy cup, and now we'll finally take this piece off. We're gonna need to take more parts off to take it off. Oh, yes! We only take this part off, and now we're gonna need to take this part off. How does that come off? Um, I don't know. I don't know how this comes off. Hmm? I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, take it off. Uh, okay. There you go. Just look at the sides. Yeah, wow, well, look at all that. I just, just do. I just don't know what it all this. That's material. Off? No, we don't have to. This one, let me take it off. Go for it, but we don't need to. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Yo! Look at 
<laughs> yeah. So, 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 that's good. That's good. That's making a lot of dust. Hey. How we can be careful with dust. No, well, it's not good to breathe it in. That's that's enough. Just how about just one more piece of that thing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I got the uh, the radio out finally. Uh, which wasn't easy. Um basically you have to to get the the decorative piece off of here. Um you gotta take the little the knobs they go on here, you gotta take those off. It just has a little Allen screw that's hidden on the back side. Pull those off. And then after that, you have um, two little nuts that go on here and just screw on here. Um, I forget what size that was. I think it was like a 9 16 or uh, something along something along those lines. Um, and then after that, basically you take your decorative piece off. You have a screw that goes in the back. There's a, you can see that right there. Um, there's a little bracket that goes there. Pull that bracket off, then you slide that out or into the dash, and then out from underneath. There's a plate that goes right there. You go out from underneath that plate, take it out. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was entertaining trying to figure out how this uh, how this works. Um, this is my first time taking out a classic radio like this, so it, was, uh, it took a minute. To figure that out and then once you got that out the next struggle was getting the um, the gauge cluster panel uh, out oh, let me adjust the light there you go. so so yeah that was interesting also and if you've never done one of these on these classic cars uh, it was it was quite difficult so you have uh, screws they come through the panel. Um, right here, there, there. There's like okay, there's like eight of them. You gotta reach. So there's a gauge cluster, and then there's the screws right here, right there, right there. There's a bunch of them, and you gotta reach. You know, once you get your your big clusters out, um, which are pretty simple to remove basically stick your hand in there and get to the uh, get to the nut that's back there which is most of the time extremely difficult um, I don't know if it's all classics all Thunderbirds or if it's just this one because this has a, a mess of wires looks like somebody's done a bunch of random stuff here and it's just not organized wires are in the way everywhere um, so yeah, I'll have to reorganize everything, figure out what wire goes to what. There's a bunch of wires that are disconnected. Um, there's this oil pressure line right here. That was just nasty. Um, I'm not even sure if they originally had one or not. Uh, and then whoever owned this car previously just messed this thing up. They drilled these holes out. I don't think whatever was here was not was was originally here. They they beat this thing up just to fit in the, their junks. That's where the oil pressure line went, and this was something, something else. I think those vacuum or something. Um, no, I think that was actually amps. Yeah. So somebody put an amps meter on here. So that one looks ugly. Um. Uh, so the fuel and the temperature reading, I think was on no, that was on this side, and that's pretty easy. The the um, the glass or it's not glass, the cover just it just sits on there. You basically just got to pull it out. Once you pull the cover out, there's like four little flathead screws to go in there and hold your gauge in there. Get the screws out your gauge comes off 
you just undo your wires make sure you mark them oh I mean it's the same for all the three big ones and then the small ones I couldn't figure out how to take the lights apart so I just undid all the wires once I got it out um, the other ones you basically uh, so here's this one once you pull out your uh, your little rod that controls so this is for the wipers that controls you know it's on off rod or whatever you have this Phillips hole in here and that you just get a Phillips screwdriver and just unscrew that pop that out and then you can remove it from the back side and yeah uh, there's that one and then the other one that was kind of difficult was the key one for the start stop um, so that's this right here it doesn't have a Phillips because your key goes through here but it's got these two little notches right there so I assume it's for a pretty big flathead um, but I don't have a flathead that size so basically what I did uh, just use a sawzall blade got it in there sideways I was able to screw it out so once that popped out it's just a little little piece once you, once you get in the right spot it just pops right out you push that out and uh, your whole mechanism comes out so now now I gotta figure out how to pull out the rest of the dash so so here we go all right so there it is finally got the dash out um, and just like that uh, the glade gauge cluster panel this thing was kind of a pain to remove um, if you don't know how it comes out and just trying to figure it out I couldn't really find anything else on YouTube um, to see how they come out um, so but either way uh, we got it out basically all it is is um, you got two bolts to go down here from underneath uh, you got two bolts that go on the steering column they go through here that uh, half inch bolts here I think it's also half inch here um, half inch socket um, and then the ones that are kind of hard to get to are the ones that are in here so you got you got quite a few of them going all the way around um, those are right up against the windshield so they're kind of hard to see especially when it's you know in this condition that's why we peeled all the all the foam off of it uh, just to try and figure out what's got to come off and there's two more here um, and it's, it's, I think that was it just all the bolts the little 516 socket uh, bolts all the way on top and then half inchers half inch socket two of them over here two of them on the other side and then the ones on the steering column um, plus removing any wires or anything that's been modified somebody put some sort of switch here not sure what it was we just ripped it out don't think I'll need it uh, so yeah and then if you check out the inside you'll see the wiring mess it's a nightmare um, I was gonna buy a new harness but they're like 800 bucks so uh, so yeah I think I might just have to figure out go through everything find a wiring uh, diagram and basically try and uh, figure out what's what with all these wires a bunch of random stuff too um, it's brown wire I think that was speakers which I don't see any speakers anywhere um, then there's this that connected to uh, I'm not sure it said some beam something I'm not sure what it is but I don't think it was original just a little little thing sitting inside the uh, inside the glove box uh, so yeah that's obviously extra um, more of that brown wire I was going for speakers I think um, yeah I don't know a bunch of random stuff I just got to go through it get rid of everything that is not needed there's this little piece uh, still haven't figured out what that was I don't know if it's some sort of flashlight or yeah I have no idea uh, but I highly doubt that was stock either so so yeah this is it 
This is how it looks without a dash. A uh, bit messy. Found a little bit of work. Um, Got to get new pipe connectors or whatever they're called for the ducts. Uh, what else? Yeah, basically just clean everything up. Um, insulate whatever needs to be insulated. Once I'm going to be doing the, the sound attenuation padding on the floor, I'll probably put it up on the walls and ever over there to kind of uh, keep it nice and quiet in here. So, yeah. All right, so that will be it for this video. Um, yeah, I apologize. I didn't, didn't really record how we took off the dash and how we took off the, uh, the gauge cluster. It was just... It would have been way too long of a video of trying to watch me figure it out. Um, so I, I didn't really record it until I got it out and tried kind of explaining it. And I hope uh, if anybody's watching and trying to figure out how to get theirs out, I hope it was helpful enough. Um, hopefully it'll at least be easier than it was for me. Um, I just couldn't find much info with a quick search online. So so yeah, uh, thanks. thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for sticking around. I'll see you guys in the next video.